Pumain Estuary is one of the first estuaries as you head north along the east coast that is really still in pristine condition. It's not very deep within this whole estuary system. It's only two and a half to maybe five or six meters deep throughout the whole estuary. didn't look so spectacular when we started but once you started delving into what goes on here it's the most amazing little macro animals that you come across here we found a nice big carpet anemone within the anemone we'd found small shrimps these are porcelain shrimps and have the most spectacular color configuration. The females of the species are the ones that have the brain. They're the bigger animals and they seem to dominate this whole an enemy system. The males are much, much smaller and uh, they only possess one bigger claw, which they'll use for feeding with and for limited defense. Further along from the enemy, we came across another one of those really, really strange animals. This is one of the snake cucumbers. There are these long tendrils that they drag along the floor and along the seagrass, grasping tiny organic matter that you find along the seabed and pulling it into their mouths. And then staying with very strange animals, we then come across this guy. And this is part of the nudibranch family. And in fact, I'm not actually sure the, the proper name for this animal, but uh, it certainly grabbed our attention. With a very, very big mouth in the front that drops down and hoovers up all sorts of organic matter that it can find along the bottom. The next strange little animals that we came across were these striped eel catfish. These were very, very small. They were about two to three centimeters long, burrowing along the, the bottom of the, the estuary. These are all part of the barbel family and possess very venomous spines. You always find these animals in tiny little shoals. They prefer the safety and numbers um, format. Scuffling in amongst the bottom in the organic matter and you can see there's a little cloud storm around them. And what was quite interesting while I was filming these guys is that they were almost attracted to the camera. Perhaps they could see the reflection within the camera lens and thought that this was another shoal. Sure, we are just coming across all sorts of strange little creatures. And this is one of the, the crayfish, another species that we have absolutely no idea what, what it actually is. We think it's one of the juvenile ornate crayfish. Very, very small, perhaps only five or six centimeters long and not scared to burrow back into the, the seagrass and take refuge there as well.
And just looking at the small crayfish just next to it, we found another tiny animal. This is the double-ended pipefish and uh, very, very small. These animals eat tiny plankton. What they normally do is just hold on to the seagrass and stare out as if they're staring out into nowhere. But these guys are actually looking for tiny little morsels that pass past them. And there you can see how he actually feeds very quick on the, the grab and they actually suck in their, their, their prey. And just a tiny bit further down was probably the find of the dove. And this is the crown seahorse. Beautiful animal. And what we now got to do after seeing what's in this estuary is spend a lot more time diving it over the next couple of days.